Hello everybody. You're probably wondering what's up in my attic of my garage. Well, I'm going to show you right now. This is my little haven to get away from home. Woman. And it's not just any attic either. I'm, here's a light switch. I'm going to turn it on and you will see a model railway with nothing but trains and train cars as far as the eye can see. Yeah. I got these like a while ago. I was like back in eighth grade. And uh, I have I have so many different ones. It's kind of hard to decide what to what to do with them. But uh, why don't we just start with the uh, classics right now? Oh, by the way, this is all a uh, this is all in this is completely a uh, HO scale. By the way, yeah, that's, that's what I was trying to say. So yeah, it's a work in progress, but. I have plans for it. Big plans. Alright, so, uh, starting right here, we have this little Union Pacific train. And it's tiny. There's not much to say about it. I think over here is a, uh, New York Central. And this is a Santa Fe Streamline Diesel. I have a couple other Streamline Diesels here. We have uh, a New York Central and a uh, Central Pacific. No, Southern Pacific. Along with a Southern Pacific steam engine. And, uh, I got these trees last year for Christmas. Uh, I think over here is a, a little timber site. Uh, over here is just a bunch of uh, over here is just mainly broken stuff like this locomotive that's detached from its tender and its cab comes off too uh and these boxes are mostly just freight cars and locomotives like uh chicago northwestern santa fe stuff like that But, if I have to say, I'd say about most of these trains compose of the, uh, Sioux line here. Oh, and, uh, we also got here a, uh, Southern Pacific Steamy, as well as a, a Northern Light and Power Interior, molded in gray plastic, so that's something. Uh... We have some steel wool, just in case. By the way, I used to have, like, five pieces of uh, steel wool to help me clean the tracks, but, uh... But the reason why I only have four now is because a couple days ago I discovered that steel wool is flammable. <laughs> See, what happened was, I was cleaning the tracks when they were on, and, uh, yeah, it, it, the tracks sparked and eventually, uh, set fire to the, uh, steel wool. So, that's a good, that's a good time. Alright, so, uh, this basically here is... Part table, part drawbridge, you might say. Because, uh... I'm, I'm too lazy to, uh, open this thing up and 
take the tracks apart and all that stuff. So, we're just going to, uh, go underneath it, like this. Uh, Alright. Now I can show you everything. I think over here we have a, uh, suit line passenger cars. Uh... A Santa Fe Streamline set of BNSF freight set and a Sioux Line freight set plus another Sioux Diesel. Uh, two Sioux Line diesel switch engines and uh, a miniature Sioux Line steam locomotive. That's the only car that can fit on its coupling. I know, strange. Otherwise, um, I think... Most of these box cars have sliding doors, but, uh... But, uh... I learned the hard way that they can, uh... Break off if they're not, uh, you know, taken care of properly, so... Uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. In here is a, uh, spare controller I have just in case. Some extra pieces of track. That silver one is a dead track. Alright. And what I have down here are a bunch of, uh, some dead pieces of straight track. And these are kind of similar to these kind of tracks. It's just that they don't have these. Otherwise, yeah, not many good tracks. But I do have a bunch of spare curved ones. Not many spare straight ones to go around, though. Uh... This is a little chemical factory here. This is a dead track. And, uh, this is a part of the rails. Uh, this little thing, this little connector is, uh, stuck to it. And I've been trying hard to take it out. Ooh, what's this? Hmm. Anyways. So yeah, this is the, uh, Santa Fe Streamline steam engine. Part of the train is, uh, missing. It's over there. Because I'm gonna... I was gonna try and experiment, but, uh... Then I realized that, uh... You know, these switches here are on the... Are part of the same controller. And that's kind of an issue. Uh... It's not really an issue so much as it is a, uh, hindrance, but that can pose a problem. You see, I just had this idea. This line that leads down here originally used to be straight, but I decided to change that. I have these, uh, I think these are, uh, stops here, that if you place them along here, then the, uh, train can... You know, like, if one train was going this way and another was going this way, then this would stop and another train could, you know, pass by on a separate track. <laughs> uh, by the way, this is a uh, Santa Fe, Texas chugger. And attached to it is a Santa Fe uh, crane arm. Or crane train. I I don't know. Uh, over here is this maintenance shed. Not much to it, really. It's just an authentic scale building. It does have some nice stuff on there that I might think of getting to upgrade my layout here. Uh, a freight station, operating hopper set, an engine shed... 
Oh, and a small town station and a barn. So that's something. Oh. Uh, this set comes with uh, two figures. Sorry. Uh, this guy right here, he just uh, carries wood to the, you know, place. Anyways, I've been trying to do a little experiment. Uh, as I told you before, as the train goes this way and other goes this way, that that could be a problem. Uh, I think for right now, I could start working on this because I have I have an idea for it. Uh, but. The thing I've learned is that uh, more than one train can operate on just this single piece of track. So, that can be a problem because they're all connected to the uh, same controller. So, I may need to uh, get a little... Uh, I may need to get some more uh, straight track and improve this layout. If you know what I mean. I wish I could, but I really don't come up here often. I think a part of the reason is because I don't have time to. And the reason is I have this wasp trap up here. It's been catching wasps ever since it was up here. Uh... I don't think there are any more wasps in here to worry about, though. But I'm still paranoid that they're around here. See, I have this extreme fear of wasps. Because I got stung by them twice. And I don't want to experience that again. So down here we have a, uh, just some spare parts. Like this little magnifying glass here these little spoons these railings this this passenger car door uh these wheels and these signs too uh over here we have some extra switches that's just another thing. Yeah, I think these are just switches that can, you know, hook up to any tracks. And in here we have some screws, just in case. Uh, extra track and that thing, I don't know what it is. Uh... Over here we have some extra connectors, just in case. And this little flathead screwdriver. Oh, and over here we have this, uh... It looks like a knife, but it's not. So that's, that's good to know. Uh, yeah. Other than that, this, this whole train set, it, it works, it, it functions properly. I'm, I may need to, uh, add some stuff, though. Because of the, you know, when I was talking about the problems that if one train stops here, another train passes through here. Well, I, I, I think you get the idea. But, you know, I will say this. This train definitely... This layout here definitely looks big enough for even more track. I mean, maybe I could... Maybe I could turn it into a, uh... I don't know. Maybe a expert layout? I have a bunch of model railroad magazines. I just don't take the time to follow through on them because I don't really come up here too often. And the fact that, uh, I just got you know, introduced to this kind of stuff. I would like to follow through on it, though. I just don't have the time to. 
so yeah, that's that's basically my model railroad. It's it's a work in progress, but it'll get better. These are just extra light bulbs that replace these, you know. And they work great. I've had to re I've only had to replace them once. And that's that's good. This is the box that the uh the BNSF freight train came in. If you can put something like this, it kind of acts like a little tunnel. I don't know. I just... I just really want to, you know, improve this more. But I, I just feel like I'm too lazy to do it. So yeah, that's basically my model railroad. I'll see you guys later.